<laughs> yeah, I believe in aliens, but I'm not running into Area 51 with niggas, though. No. I'm definitely not running with niggas, though. No. It's clip. Why not? Yo, first of all, y'all don't think that they have, like, somebody posted up with the with the 50 cow? With the, with the 50 cow and the Draco? They can't kill everybody. Nah, yeah, they can't, though. I can't forget. This is probably going to be one wild nigga just... just in the mix, you feel me? Talk, chopping it up with the aliens in there, you feel me? Yo, there's an alien, there's an alien. <laughs> I definitely believe in them though. I just don't, I don't know about them. Abducting people, I don't know about them. You know, stuff like that. But I know that, I know they're there though. <laughs> yo, it's the vibes, yo. It's just the loyal, whole gang, whole squad. No shit on me. I can't front. I wish I could, um, I don't know. I, w I, w I wonder if, like, the power to, like, grant wishes and stuff was a power. Because, like, you can honestly wish anything, you feel me? Like, like we could go back to the aliens. Hey, an alien came down, tried to take over our, our planet. I could wish that alien was out of here, have him skedaddle, you feel me? Or I could just, you know what I mean? I could wish for a million dollars and... Just be rich, nobody know, you feel me? And just live my life. Where I tripped out crazy, because I feel like when I be smoking, like, I be chilling for the most part, but there was this one time I was in my brother's house and we happened to have like a crazy scythe and I started smoking like in like 12th grade, so I was like kind of fresh on it. It was like my second year into it. I remember we had a crazy scythe. They were smoking Dutchess. They had papers in Fonto, and they had backwoods. Everything was in the scythe. And I remember my cousin, he yo, he was rolling like, he he, he was like, yo, I'm rolling like a Queens nigga. Shout out to Bricks. This guy had the biggest piece of Fonto, and I was just like, damn, that shit bust my head. So all of that stuff, like together, yo, I, I remember I dropped some juice, and I went downstairs to get the cleaning product to clean it, Came back upstairs and I was just like tripped out. And I remember telling him like, cause when I went down, I was staring at a tree for about like 25 minutes gooped. I was gooped. I was just like, yo, what is wrong with me? <laughs> and I never had a moment like that ever again. I was just like, I was like, okay. Like at first I was like, all right, maybe I should stop. I should stop smoking. I was like, right, I'm done. And then I was like, all right, I'm gonna. You know what I mean? I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go right back into it. I was Gucci after that, so. Look, I feel like an eight. I'm gonna go cut me a bait after I drop off the tape. Um, I'm gonna I feel like my music is exciting because you do you never know what you're gonna get. So it's like you click on a new song and you're just like, okay, just might get real trappy on you real quick. But then that day, I, I mean, that song I dropped right there might happen to be like a song I'm pouring out my feelings for a shorty. Or like I might I might have just wanted to talk my shit that day, you feel me? Like politics or personal things for whatever, like so you never know what you're gonna get. So I feel like it's exciting. I believe my song um Monster. Um when I made that song, I originally like I was trying to come off like how J. Cole would in a sense. And with that song, I was like, I just wanna flex my my um my wordplay and I wanna show people that I can actually do it. So when I did it, I was like, okay, I can't just have this song like a regular, like, you know, talking all my shit like fucking niggas, da da da. So I decided to talk about my family in that song. So once you first hear it, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, he's talking this shit. Cause I'm like, I want the most for my moms and my sis. I want my dad to race up the lot. I got my bro, he remind me of pop. I'm like 2021, 20, I'm a pop. So I'm just giving them, I was giving them you know, I was telling them about myself, telling them about my fam, but then I was telling them what I'm about to do. You feel me? I'ma put my man's off the block, off the block, cause huh, he was going through a lot, through a lot. Lord Caso is the GOAT. <laughs> Just know that. <laughs> um, yeah, shout out to my bro. Um, he did the whole last project that I, uh, I put out, Captivate. Um, I, I got put on the Caso through um, my bros in, in, um, in um, Uniondale. And I remember I always would see him around because he went to my elementary school and he's um he's a year younger than me, so I would always see him around like boiling up and stuff like that. But when I got down to making music, like after high school, I was already cool with um Mula. Shout out to Mula man. 
I was already cool with him and that's his best friend. So, you know, we connected dots and I even know he was making beats. So now I'm 23, so that's about, you know, we're about five years out and we're making amazing music right now. So a whole gang, whole squad, it's a brotherhood, it's a collective, and we just we just come, we just came together to make great music because we felt like that's what our town was missing. So it's just like we had to come together and just show everybody like yo, this could be done. You feel me? Yo, psychedelics are dope. <laughs> I took I took shrooms once. That shit was the craziest laugh ever. I was laughing like, it was like laughing gas. I was laughing for hours, like stomach hurting, all of that. It's like, damn. And I had the munchies off of that. Like, that was crazy. And I didn't even have that much. People were like, yo, you need to take take a eighth of it. I only had like, like if I had a little bit more than half, maybe, you know what I mean? And I was floating, I was done. I'm gonna I'm a think about it, you feel me? I was, somebody gave me a tab. I didn't. I never did it though, but I just have the tab sitting. <laughs> Pass it over. Yeah. Jump on, jump man. Uh, I am that man. Uh, black man, big bands. Uh, I don't pop zans. I feel like people are gonna be living over the the you know over the time span that they should. I feel like I feel like there's really gonna be cars that are flying, even though there were cars that are flying already. You know what I mean? But like literally like hovering type of stuff. I feel like, I feel like we're gonna make a lot of advances on medicine, um, but I don't know, like, I don't know about like, I, like right now it's looking scary for like, you know, global warming and shit like that. But I feel like we're gonna make a lot of advances. I just, it's a couple things that I can't really call in on, you feel me? But I feel like it's gonna be dope, the future. It's gonna be a lot of dope technology to come out because you, you can see like right now, everything is moving at a fast pace. I got money on your head, uh, I got money for my desk. Uh. My inspirations, honestly, is my peers. I like, I like seeing people like progress in their own way and I like to just feed off their energy. So it's like, that helps me keep on going, you know what I mean? Helps me helps me keep my mind going, helps me want to progress as well, you feel me? I got my name from my older brother. He started the Loyals and he just, he lives by loyalty. So it was like a, like a, it was an automatic thing for us. So it was just like, it's something that we strongly believe in. I'm gonna race that limbo, uh, I'm gonna push that brave. Uh. I can't front. I have, I have support from my hometown. Um, you know, I feel like I got more now, I gained it. I had to gain everybody's trust with my music and shit like that. Cause there's a lot of people that's just doing it just to do it. And there's people that do it cause they love it, you feel me? So I feel like I had to gain that. I feel like I got it a little bit more now, but just know like the things that I'm gonna drop soon is gonna have everybody like, okay, just really means this, just wants the island to, move, you know, move ahead, you feel me? Once Union Day to move ahead. Like, everybody tries to say like, yo, like, I have like a, I have an easy way of ignoring things. So I, I don't like to let things get to me unless it's really, really personal. But for hate, like, I mean, everybody has haters, but you gotta use haters to progress, you feel me? Like, it's like a stepping stone. You always gonna have hate when you're doing something right. And people, people envy, you know what I mean? People have jealousy, so. It's different things that feed into it, but you just gotta make sure you staring straight into your path. You gotta, you know what I mean? You gotta move forward. Yeah, watch me with my wrist. Uh, now I'm steady flexing. We ain't got no pot to piss. Uh. I didn't see the whole world yet, but so far I just really love, I really love LA right now. That's where I wanna move. Um, but I do wanna go out the country and see other other living standards and stuff like that and see the culture. Because I mean, I wouldn't mind moving out the country itself too as well. But right now it's LA. Perfect, perfect pace for me right now. LA Soul, huh? Yeah, uh. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
I get big bags, these niggas capping, huh, huh, what they talking, huh, look, they ain't got it, huh, look, I'm switching topics, huh, look, I'm taking flights, huh, look, to the tropics, huh, look, yeah, they watching, huh, look, cause we wildin', huh, look, getting money, huh, I don't need no wallet, huh, look, I been dripping, huh, I don't need no stylist, huh, look, yeah, they watching, cause, yeah, they know we got it, huh, look, yeah, we got it, huh, look, yeah, we, uh. Two hours later. All that shit you talking past his. Man, I gotta keep it bracking. Man, I gotta keep it stacking. Man, I gotta keep it cracking, huh? Yeah, that's for the crips, huh? Niggas talking all that shit. Hmm. Yeah, I'm holding on my hip, huh? <laughs> oh, right on time. Or a dive? Yo. Oh.